Everybody in the band is, in their own right, a super strong, like, virtuoso player on their instrument. You're working with guys that have that much command over their instruments um, and sensitivity and references that you can kind of make anything happen musically with them. So it's super fun. Jerry Brooks on bass. Yeah. You know, I, I always make the joke that, you know, you could build a skyscraper on this guy's groove. It's so solid. Kieli Minucci, guitarist extraordinaire. Gregoire Mare on harmonica. And the same with Bobby Franceschini on saxophones and flute. And my wife, Rachel Z. She's an incredible acoustic pianist and a super talented electronic keyboardist. Scott Tibbs, not only a great keyboard player, but he's also a great arranger and orchestrator and composer. You played up the octave, right? At 51? At 51? We need, you guys should support that. Three. We could kind of go wherever we like, really, musically, so it makes for a serious musical adventure. <laughs> and where are we right now? We are at my house in Brooklyn, New York, uh, rehearsing in the basement. Uh, you know, we have a little rehearsal studio down there. It's our little hideout, our little lair of music. We don't have to watch the clock. You know, we can just kind of hang and chill and eat and talk and play music and, you know, it's like a family hang, really. You know? It's a lot of music to learn, a lot of details. We sort of know the music, but we haven't played in a while together, so it's it's a nice little refresher, you know? All right, you're all set. Beautiful. All right. But uh, the cool thing about the band is that um, when we get together, it just sounds like the record, because it's us. My 45 years of experience of being a musician, being a drummer, having, you know, some really interesting collaborations through, throughout my musical life with some really super artists. For instance, Weather Report. I did three albums with those guys. Procession, Sport and Life, and Domino Theory. A few rock records. I had done David Bowie's Let's Dance, Dire Straits, Brothers in Arms. I was a police fan, and I didn't imagine that I would have an opportunity to ever play with Sting. Daft Punk wants me to play acoustic drums? It's been an interesting ride, man. So the record is, is really cool because it's, it's, it's a gathering of friends that have known each other for many years. And it's really satisfying to, uh, to actually hold the finished thing in my hands. When we were designing the album cover, I told our graphic designer, Miko, that I wanted to have a collage on the inside cover of like the process of the, of the, of the eight years of the record being made. Those photos show the camaraderie and the friendship and the connection between the people. So from that standpoint, it's, it's not just my record, it's everybody's record that is involved, which is why I decided to call it the Omar Hakim experience. It was great. It was nice. Yeah, really enjoy playing with you. I'll hug you later. Oh, man, thank you so much, man. Wow. The next stop, the Blue Note in New York City. It's more like a CD release, a celebration party more than anything. 
Nothing better than a hometown gig, man. It's just like all your friends come, your family comes. Just celebrate the fact that we finished this project. Once we get on stage, you know, it's like, you know, you're in that moment and uh, you just ride the energy and, um, you know, hopefully have a, have a nice gig, have a fun gig. You know? I've been really fortunate in my career because music has taken me all over the world. And what you discover is that even though you might not speak a bunch of different languages, music is the universal language. It's the language that connects us all together, the language that everybody understands. And that's why I decided to call the album We Are One. There's, there's what we rehearse, but then there's what's gonna happen in the moment. And, and that's where the fun really is, you know? Hi, I'm Omar Hakim, and I approve this message.